Hello and welcome back everyone to our second course from Planning Tank Academy. We shall be discussing about various must know softwares that a planner must learn for their professional as well as academic work. As we all know that technology has become dynamic in nature and changes fast. These changes have impacted our daily lives, our surroundings as well as our cities, making them more complex. This dynamism has also impacted the various fields including planning. We now have a specialized tool and software available to us for carrying out complex projections, mapping and analysis faster and easier as well as on larger chunks of data. Let's look into some of these essential and advanced softwares useful in planning. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Ishita Saraswat from Planning Tank Academy. In this video, we shall be looking at commonly used softwares for spatial design and analysis. As planners deal with land, mapping and spatial analysis, visualization becomes one of the most important and recurring task. This is where GIS, that is Geographic Information Systems, step in. A GIS or Geographic Information System integrates hardware, software and data for capturing, managing, analyzing and displaying all forms of geographically referenced information. GIS helps you in answering questions and solve problems by analyzing the data and making it easier to understand and share. It helps in improved mapping, increased access to vital information, improved communication, increased quality and efficiency for public services, increased support for strategic decision making. Geographic Information System is one of the latest and most advanced system till date to help organize spatial data. Knowledge of GIS software helps a planner to better represent their ideas on print as well as maximize their opportunities of analysis and understanding. Some of the available software in this area are ArcMap, QGIS, BatchGeo, MapInfo Pro, Google Earth and so on in which ArcGIS and QGIS are widely used in the field of planning in India. CAD or Computer Aided Design enables its users to design, analyze, create and visualize things with the help of computers. It increases the productivity and saves time in such processes. CAD softwares are widely used in variety of fields including allied fields of planning like civil engineering, architecture and urban design. In planning, these help the planner to design spaces which require details that cannot be covered in GIS like site design, road cross sections, site and housing layouts, sector layout designs, basic modeling, etc. CAD softwares are classified into 2D and 3D. For planners, knowledge of any one would be sufficient to work with but is not limited. Some of the prominent CAD softwares include AutoCAD, Revit, SketchUp, Blender, etc. Many of you might be wondering at this point that GIS and CAD serve similar features, so why was there a need to develop them differently? Well, the story of evolution of these is kept for some other day. For now, let's understand the key difference between them. GIS stands for Geographic Information Systems, while CAD stands for Computer Aided Design. GIS is used widely in the field of planning, geography, metallurgy, ocean sciences, etc. While CAD is used in the field of architecture, civil engineering, automobile designs, product designing, and so on. GIS focuses on spatial analysis and visualization. At the same time, CAD focuses on designing and visualization. Every data point in GIS is geo-referenced, that is, all analysis is backed upon by latitude and longitude of that work area. While in CAD, all designing happens in complete abstraction. Examples of GIS outputs include land use land cover analysis, thematic mapping of demographic parameters, circulation maps, zonal plans, master plans, watershed analysis, and so on. Examples of CAD outputs include cross sections, site plans, housing layouts, building footprints, etc. The new age technologies have also explored the larger possibility of interconnection of GIS and CAD for visualizations. There are a lot of softwares available to us. Let's look at two of such softwares. ArcGIS Urban. 
ArcGIS Urban is a web-based solution that applies GIS technology to urban planning to analyze the impact of plans, visualize current projects, and facilitate public engagement. In addition to helping you design, manage, and measure urban development, ArcGIS Urban allows digital representation of your city in which all urban developments are visualized in one place for collaboration among stakeholder groups. City Engine City Engine is advanced 3D modeling software for creating huge interactive and immersive urban environments in less time than traditional modeling techniques. The cities you create using City Engine can be based on real-world GIS data or showcase a fictional city from the past, present or future. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Ishta Saraswat from Planning Tank Academy. In this video, we shall be looking at commonly used softwares for quantitative analysis tools in planning. Quantitative analysis in planning is usually numerical in nature or spatial in nature. Examples of numeric analysis include projections, data entry, survey data analysis, speed delay analysis, statistical test, census data processing, project-based calculations, etc. While the spatial side can be taken care of with GIS tools, the numerical part needs other specialized softwares like MS Office Excel which is widely used and accepted. There are other open source softwares available too in the market. These will usually help planners with population projection, inventory of survey data, and carry on its analysis and so on. Sometimes you might also require to carry out specialized statistical analysis like t-test and ANOVA test. For such purposes, there are also statistical softwares available like IBM's SPSS to assist you in those. A new player in this field is Power BI, which is a collection of software services, apps, and connectors that work together to turn your unrelated sources of data into coherent, visually immersive, and interactive insight. Your data may be an Excel spreadsheet or a collection of cloud-based and on-premise hybrid data warehouses. Power BI lets you easily connect to your data sources, visualize, and discover what's important and share that with anyone and everyone you want. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Ishita Saraswat from Planning Tank Academy. In this video, we shall be looking at commonly used softwares for content and graphic design in planning. Conveying your ideas and information unaltered is a big task, especially in planning, when your decisions may impact thousands of people for many years to come. As they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. Visuals tend to convey more information and stay for long in our heads. As a planner, one must learn this art of expressing their ideas in aesthetically balanced visuals. Making of posters, information sheets, graphics, illustrations, concept diagrams, flowcharts are some examples of these. Adobe offers a wide variety of such options like Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro and so on. Apart from these, there are other online options available like Photopia, Canva, Inkspace, GIMP, etc. While hand drawing and sketching is always an option, these softwares help us ease our work and provide a larger scope of expression. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Ishita Saraswat from Planning Tank Academy. In this video, we shall be looking at commonly used software for written and visual presentation in planning. Moving on to the very important softwares that are used in planning, which are required for presentations and report writing. As report writing and presentation form a key part in a planner's professional life for documentation, it is important to master these skills in your bachelor's and master's in planning itself and have the knowledge on how to write formal and business reports and make presentations according to the audience. For writing skills, a software alone cannot be much of help unless the user, in our case, the planner, has the skills to write coherently. Although the tedious task of writing can be eased with smart use of writing softwares available to us, the very basic is MS Office Word, followed by Tableau, Power BI, LibreOffice, Google Docs, Adobe InDesign, and many more. There is a wide variety of softwares and online options available for presentations. Widely used softwares in this regard is MS PowerPoint. Many also prefer using Google Slides, Etsy, Tableau, and other open source softwares. Thank you. Hello everyone. 
My name is Ishita Saraswat from Planning Tank Academy. In this video, we shall be looking at commonly used softwares for referencing. Many of you might be wondering what is referencing and why is it necessary in the first place? Referencing allows you to acknowledge the contribution of other writers and researchers in your work. Referencing is also a way to give credit to the writers from whom you may have borrowed words and ideas. By citing the work of a particular scholar, you acknowledge and respect the intellectual property rights of that researcher. There are set ways to write references and citations in any academic or professional writings. People did it manually before, but thanks to the technological inventions, we now have softwares to help us with this task. Most of these are open source softwares. The most commonly used are Google Scholar, Mendeley, Jabref, etc. These softwares will come in handy for those writing dissertations, research papers, and other academic writings. We shall also cover technical writing in one of the upcoming courses to help you navigate through these. Thank you.